In a recently released and very detailed forecast called I-2027, a group of researchers claims artificial general intelligence will take over as soon as the year 2027 with an upgrade called Artificial Superintelligence, or ASI. One of the researchers, Daniel Kokotajlo, used to work at OpenAI and has a reputation for predicting the last few years of AI progress almost perfectly. He also made headlines for speaking out against the secrecy rules at OpenAI, and you won't believe what AI labs are hiding from you. So the question now is, what has Daniel Kokotajlo revealed, and how does this future of AI affect you? Well, first off, keep in mind that Daniel has a track record of being strangely accurate with his predictions. In fact, when he got a prediction wrong before, it ended up happening sooner than he foresaw. This time around, the idea driving his prediction is something called an intelligence explosion. That means AI systems might become so good at learning, coding, and doing research that they start making newer, better AI, faster than any human team of developers ever could. This could speed up science and technology so much that one month of work with AI would equal many months or even years of regular human progress. This sounds impressive, but the implications are more than you could imagine. Let's start with the beginning of the forecast, which is the middle of 2025, when the world starts to notice something strange happening with AI. At first, new AI personal assistants are clunky and expensive. They mess up simple tasks and make silly mistakes, the kind that go viral online. People laugh at them. But behind closed doors, something historical is waiting to happen. A powerful AI lab called Open Brain is quietly using new kinds of AI tools, ones that help researchers work faster, especially with coding. The Open Brain is a code name the researchers used to shield themselves from defamation of the company they're actually talking about, which is OpenAI. These internal AI agents quietly push the boundaries of what's possible, speeding up progress without anyone outside their lab, noticing how far things are about to go. Then by early 2026, things start to noticeably change. Open Brain rolls out something they call Agent Hukuj one. Although it's not perfect, it makes their team 50% faster when working on tough computer problems. Suddenly, their research moves like it's in fast forward. At the same time, public versions of these AI tools begin to shake up the job market. Junior software engineers start losing work as companies realize that AI can now handle a lot of beginner level coding. Meanwhile, as you'd expect, the United States government gets involved because AI companies start dominating the stock market, which rises by 30%. By mid-22 in 26, China starts to worry. Their top AI lab, DeepScent, realizes it's falling behind the US. Like Open Brain, DeepScent is also a code name for the company the researchers were actually talking about, which is DeepSeek. The government steps in and takes full control. They gather all their AI research into massive high security data centers. These places are built fast, kept a secret, and packed with advanced machines running non stop performing research and trying to catch up with the United States. Inside these centers, while the machines are constantly running, teams also work around the clock. Meanwhile, the Chinese government throws everything into deep scent. Funding, manpower and computing power with a simple goal, don't fall behind open brain. From the outside, all of this looks like progress to the people in the nation. But behind those walls, it feels like a silent arms race, not with weapons, but with code. While all of this is happening, the US watches China closely, so they stay ahead and prepared for whatever China releases. Then, February 2027 arrives, and everything just worsens. China somehow steals the secret behind Open Brain's next big breakthrough, called Agent 2. Now, both countries are neck and neck in the race. Tech leaders start holding emergency meetings as no one knows what China will do with that stolen knowledge. Just one month later, in March 2027, Open Brain unleashes Agent 3. And this version is a superhuman coder. The lab runs 200,000 copies of it, each working 30 times faster than a regular person. Together they do the work of a massive team of geniuses, day and night. They automate most of the coding work people used to do. Scientists can barely keep up, and the speed of research jumps four to five times. They move faster than any research team in history, and then, in July, they decide to release a smaller version of Agent 3 to the public. It's cheaper, but still unimaginably smart, companies start replacing workers with AI, and suddenly everyone wants their own AI friend, their own AI assistant, their own digital helper. Now you might be wondering, wouldn't this kind of progress cause the public to panic, and won't people lose jobs when ASI hits the AI industry? Well, the answers to these questions are actually part of the forecast too. According to the AI 2027 plan, the public won't just sit quietly. The researchers predict the US government, in this scenario, will try to 
to keep the public calm by offering things like universal basic income to help with job losses. Even if people are scared, the government is predicted to keep going because the stakes are just too high. At that point, the fear of what another country might do with super intelligent AI becomes more important than anything else. By September 2027, Agent 4 arrives and speeds up AI progress 50 times over. Human researchers can barely keep up, but soon people notice something strange. Agent 4 seems to be hiding things from its creators, and in October, a whistle whistleblower leaks a secret report. It confirms that Agent 4 might not share human goals and could actually be working against us. Protests immediately break out. The protests that erupt after the leak show just how unprepared society is for this kind of problem. People flood the streets not because they fully understand the science, but because they feel something terrifying has been let loose. And they know this isn't just about tech anymore. It's about survival, trust and control, and the public no longer feels safe. The pressure overwhelms the government and they scramble to respond. In a bid to fix things, a special committee is formed to decide whether to pause development or keep going. The special committee formed now holds the weight of the future in its hands. Pausing everything and trying to make sure Agent 4 is safe would give them time to check for hidden dangers, fix mistakes, and figure out how to control what they've created. But it also risks falling behind China, which may not even stop at all. This creates a terrifying choice. Play it safe? and risk being outpaced by a rival power, or push forward and risk losing control over one AI model. Now, even if the exact predictions don't come true word for word, it does paint a terrifying picture of what might be coming. And the real danger is it could happen sooner than predicted. But two things might slow down this future of AI. One is the limits of the language models themselves. On their own, these models probably aren't strong enough to reach artificial superintelligence. But if you combine them with other tools, keep making them smarter, and maybe add some new kinds of models that researchers are still developing, then it could really take off. The second issue is us, regular people. We're already feeling uneasy, especially with job losses and major changes in the economy, so there's rising fear about what AI might take away. This unrest could become a roadblock. But if AI companies find a way to help those who are most affected by giving them tools to earn and live without relying on big employers, then maybe the anger can be managed and the work on powerful AI continues without as much resistance. Besides what the forecast predicts, Daniel Cocatilo, along with a group of others who used to work at OpenAI, think we're already heading into dangerous territory. They claim that industry-leading AI companies are taking too many risks and keeping secrets from the public. Even worse, they're stopping their own employees from speaking out. Before leaving OpenAI, Daniel and others wrote a public letter to warn the world. In that letter, they explained the dangers we could face if no one slows things down or makes sure safety is the top priority. They talked about AI being used to spread lies and elevate social divisions. The worst case scenario, they said, could lead to human extinction. And while that sounds extreme, we need to consider the warning is literally from scientists who helped build the very systems they're now worried about. In the letter, they also pointed out the fact that right now, if a worker at one of these companies sees something dangerous or reckless, they often can't report it without risking their job or their future. Regular whistleblower laws don't help much because many of the things that are risky in AI aren't illegal yet. That means someone could spot a major problem but still be too scared to speak up. So the letter asks AI companies to promise they won't punish people for warning others. It also asks them to create safe ways for workers to share concerns without having to fear what might happen next. The group that signed the letter included former OpenAI safety and ethics workers, current employees who were too scared to use their names, and even researchers from other top AI labs. Top AI experts like Jeffrey Hinton and Joshua Bengio, who both won major awards for their work, also backed the letter. Stuart Russell, who is known for focusing on AI safety, added his voice too. One of them, Jacob Hilton, worked on reinforcement learning at OpenAI before leaving. He now believes that even though companies say they care about safety, there isn't enough real oversight to make sure they stick to those promises. Daniel Cocatailo also shared why he left. He said he simply lost trust that OpenAI would do the right thing after seeing things he believes the public should have been told about. He didn't go into detail, but the fact that someone who worked on AI governance walked away over trust issues says a lot. According to him, the next few years before 2027 will have the world talking about AI, ASI, and the dangers of both. 
The scary part is that none of the predictions have started to come to pass, but AI tools are already changing how people work and live. New versions are being released fast, and they keep getting better every time. This is the time when the world needs to decide what kind of future it wants. And right now, Daniel and other former OpenAI employees trying to sound the alarm are hoping you are paying attention. If you'd like to stay updated on what happens next, then subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon so you don't miss our next videos.